me? You have never fallen in your life, right? Come here and tell us about that experience. I never knew he would pick up on me. So we'll have some post-mortem now. Yeah, tell us. You said in your life you had never fallen. No. What was the reason? Because I felt it's all fake. Okay. Even though I went to the retreats. Because they called also familiar names, common names. So I said this anointing also must be all decided only. Okay, but yeah. now when you saw... And I used to deliberately avoid watching videos ah, ah, because ah, of the pressure ah, 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 from... Ah, tell, us more. tell us more. Because the moment you said something about falling, you were considered believer. What? From the believer's church, the Protestant church. Yeah. Say that again. The moment anybody spoke in my surrounding about this, it was considered that you are not a Catholic. So I would deliberately avoid the videos because I did not want controversy. So she got a wonderful teaching. <laughs> huh? No, no, don't jump. Huh? In my church, it was not like that. So you got that teaching. Yes. And you believe that teaching. Yes. Okay. And that time I did not want to rebel against my own uh, people. So I said, anyways, it's okay. I don't need it. Okay. Then so I would, even JCILM, I would deliberately avoid the videos. I would watch all the teachings, study the teachings, everything else. But when I saw somebody falling, I change. <laughs> so that's why on Sunday you are sitting already on the floor. <laughs> Did you notice you are sitting already on the floor? No, no, no. It was on Saturday. Saturday. Saturday she was sitting on the floor. Saturday she was sitting. Saturday she was sitting, no? She was sitting. I, I, I noticed that she is sitting. And I was wondering why she is sitting. No, actually first there was a doubt. First, it was said it was only for the Hindi section. So when I asked, then they said, then I said, maybe it's not my time still. And then I said, I don't want to disobey because I, then I, at that point I got confused. Which group do I belong to? Because I go there also, I'm here also. So then I said, Holy Spirit, I will not think too much. Just like my name, I didn't think too much. I went to the room. There was one sister who was in a very uh, deep crisis. So she had messaged me. I told her, Chal, we'll talk. I'll minister to her, I'll iron my clothes and I'll get ready for the next day. In the meantime... And, and you did not feel that you're losing all this? No, no, nothing. I said, I'm not going to think. I said, if my name was called at the appropriate time and my focus was on Jesus, I said, I don't have to worry about this anytime. My name will be called. Okay. As soon as I said that, the door... Tuck, 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 tuck. Hmm. <laughs> Friedel comes to say, they called you down. <laughs> And I'm telling her, no, no, no. I'm given instruction. It's only for the Hindi section. I said, I don't want to go and disobey. She said, no, they're calling. I said, okay, let's go. Then I said, Holy Spirit, I said, see, I don't know what is loudly, this. Loudly. I don't know what is this, but I'm going, but I'm trusting you. Because I'm not sure what I'm supposed to believe, not believe. Because everything from the past started flashing. Okay. And th those videos you showed where people were flying and I was like, okay. <laughs> so I had so many thoughts going on. And then just at the beginning again, you showed a video where somebody is flying. And I said, okay. I, but it was a very short video. So after that, I closed. And then I did not want to be influenced by the surrounding. So I closed my eyes and I pictured Jesus on the cross. I said, I want to journey with you not influenced with the surrounding. Okay, I want to have a personal experience. Now, somewhere in between, he made me open my eyes. I don't know why. I saw everybody falling down. <laughs> and then I'm wondering, maybe I didn't fall because I'm already sitting. <laughs> I'm already sitting, right? And then secondly, I said, everybody's going and touching everybody. But you didn't come to me. 
So then I said, why is that? Maybe if he doesn't touch, I won't fall. Different thoughts started coming. So before they could uh, multiply and take me on a different journey, I said, Lord, I'll just go in worship. I'll not do anything else. Then the whole thing got over, but I had a very good uh, personal heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Okay. Next day, Gauri mentioned the doubt. Huh? She mentioned the doubt at the breakfast table. She said, mm. ek hai. Mm. So at that time, I was like, oh, we're going, going to get now nicely. <laughs> but you gave an answer which played on my mind. Okay. You said that even if you're sitting in the room alone, you can get slain with the anointing. So the next two days, we'll finish the work in the room maybe by 2 in the morning, 1.32. Then I'll go under the blanket and watch those videos of anointing for two hours at least. I'll keep watching, keep watching till I fall asleep, basically. Then third night, I can't control anymore. So I told Sister Jocelyn, I want to do what I saw for the last two days. And we started, she started by telling me to hold the Bible and say, Jesus, this is your body, this is your blood, you dwell in me, I dwell in you. Okay. So I started saying, saying, saying. I suddenly got an imagination of being in my father's lap. Okay. And just then, it hit me so hard, I fell in her lap. <laughs> who, who hit you? The, the, the imagination and the anointing hit me. I fell in her lap. <laughs> then she... No, she and I were both like praying and I was in my own zone. She was in her own zone. And you fell in the lap. Yes. Okay. And there was a very heavy kind of a feeling. And after it just felt released, it just left. And I woke up. She said, you want one more? I said, ha, chalega. <laughs> okay. This time I fell backward. I fell backward. And there was a joy this time on the face. And I saw... And when you fell backward, who was holding you? I think she put me down. Yeah, she put me down. Mm. Okay. But this time there was a joy. And this time I could vision my mama with a joyful face. Wow. Because those two days were very uh, difficult. Because um, something, something... Oh, because happened. of the wrong teachings. No, no, no. Um, she, she went into past... So the conversations were like one-sided, you can say. So I kept like, you know, telling that she has the mind of Christ. She has the mind of Christ. And the first where I felt the burden lift, second was the joy. And I saw the joy on her face. Okay. The next day, I had shooting headaches. Like as if a knife is poking. I don't know what is anointing before, right? So I asked her, I said, why is this? Hangover. No, it was like a... Knife is being poked. So she said the burden, the yoke is being destroyed, the burden is being lifted. And I remember her saying it to her that whenever you say, say thank you Jesus, I'm set free. I was watching everything very closely, but not saying anything, just following. So I started saying that even when I'm preaching, suddenly it would come like a hammer and I was in the Hindi class. So I told somebody, read the scripture. I started praying in tongues. Within one minute, that thing went off. Then, um, you know, Brother Roshan, who gave his testimony, I'm having something similar or the same, you can say. So I, uh, sometimes we will leave after mass very soon because I can feel the symptoms and they are really, really a lot. Okay. So again, she said, the anointing is the best for you. So we will start praying in tongues and I will get slain. And I got instant relief from the skin allergies. But the same manifestation of the pins, pin feeling. But after that, it left me, it never came. First, it felt like it was so bad that I was going breathless. Okay, but when it left, it left. Then the next went the throat. Hmm? The throat. I had a severe pain. Nobody can tell, right? Because I used to come every day, preach every day. But I was fighting the good fight of faith. Now I had it, had another weapon, the anointing. I understood it. So I started using and every night I will continue. You said, no, I sleep late. <laughs> so and that is what I actually am doing under the blanket. So I keep watching, watching, watching. 
because my uh, imagination is getting stronger and stronger. So when I come to adoration and holy mass, it's very easy for me to, what I have imagined to see it here. So that is my experience. Now, as you are speaking, I said this Sunday is going to be very fantastic. That's my imagination already. So that's, that's my experience. And there was somebody who came to me and asked me, I did fall under the anointing. And I said, Lord, of all the people, they chose to ask me this question. Who is not fallen? <laughs> <laughs> then, but I was honest. I said, even I didn't fall. And if you want to have a personal answer for me, I said, it's okay because Holy Spirit manifests in different ways. It's your heart condition. I said, if he was not with me, I would not reach where I am today. So the evidence is that he is with me and because of that, I am here today. Otherwise, I won't be able to do what I have been doing. But with the anointing coming yes. on you, is there a big change? There's freedom, more freedom. The battle got tougher, okay, from all angles, health-wise, uh, personal-wise, family, everything got tough. But there is a, it's okay. My muscles are getting stronger. And there's joy. Yes, there's peace, there's joy, there's love. Now there is more compassion. That I have goodness of God, but the other person is still lacking it. So Sunday we'll see you knocked off. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Passing through all this, but whenever she used to be here uh, about teaching, I mean, uh, teaching us so nicely, she would take us you know, at a different level. Very nice. But nobody could say, no, that she's going through a battle. Ah, that is called as faith. Because I believe I'm set free. So when you go through a battle, nobody knows. Because you have finished it in your prayer. Now you are thanking God for the manifestation which can happen anytime. Did it help you by calling her? Praise God. Okay. Let's write it. God's word, God's word won't work for me. God's word won't work for me. If I take sides, if I take sides against it, bracket cure me. Why, why cure me? Because she had got a wrong teaching that if you fall, you are a believer, a protestant. Now what did she do? She refused to receive the anointing or believe in the anointing because she said, if I fall, I will end up in a believer's church becoming a Protestant. Can you understand a wrong teaching can keep a person in a bondage for so many years? So was she believing the right thing? No. Was she preaching the word? Yes. Was she believing other areas? Yes. Did she see the manifestation in other areas? Yes. But did she see the manifestation in this area? No. Now she began to get a self-renewed Dina. And now she doesn't want anybody to know in the room. So she pretends she's sleeping. And she is putting the YouTube on right up to 2 o'clock. Jocelyn knows it. Okay. After two days, she tells her, I want to get what you got. Okay. So are you going to believe you will get it? 
all come here come here come here come here come here come here this is a interesting interview come here kyu me thank you holy spirit why don't you come stand here okay <laughs> she, she is going on a distant now okay when you spoke to joseline that you want this anointing if she had to ask you do you believe you will get this anointing what would be your answer i already have it and that night i was severely attacked suddenly with cough so bad all of them in the room were wondering what happened can you increase the volume are you are you speaking softly can you speak loud no. poor judy is saying i've <laughs> put it to the maximum no no when my mind was made up when we reached after dinner to the room i suddenly started coughing so violently like never before that they started wondering what happened mm. but when i went for shower no, okay normally i sing okay in the shower very loudly <laughs> okay okay so that day i couldn't sing so i was making sounds they were making fun from outside <laughs> she's giving what only sound <laughs> meow <laughs> instrumental so they instrumental means uh, just in, just an example mm-hmm. that's humming ah so like in so they were telling what why what is instrumental that they were saying why aren't you singing why are you giving instrumental uh, voices out but they don't know that the word is also not coming out okay that's okay. why humming ha huh. so i was having a shower and in my mind i said nothing doing after i finish bath this is going to take place nothing doing jesus is with me this is going to take place even there is no voice i don't need voice to fall no so i made up my mind and i told her before anything happens and i change my mind chalo let's but i asked her are you free and then i said lord please let her say she's free she doesn't have anything so she said okay and then we started and instantly it happened instantly it happened because in my mind that was how, how, everything how long that did, was going how long did the prayer last for her to experience that ha huh? when she came and you all started how quickly did she fall on your lap seconds not even a minute because that was all the time every time on my mind it the it, it, it had consumed my mind yes for 48 hours that i couldn't contain on the third day i blessed are the hungry and thirsty <laughs> yes for they shall be filled within <laughs> seconds yes so is she in faith or hope dina faith or hope she comes from your same category <laughs> but now she began to believe how many years did it take you ah uh, like about you came 2009 8 9 8 8 since then i was following the teachings but never the anointing sessions she also has uh, areas which i struggled through which she went through and she has the common uh, industry with me common industry aviation industry huh aviation industry oh you are also in that <laughs> yeah same areas almost everywhere i think all the aviation <laughs> people have got this problem they believe for the plane to take off <laughs> but they don't believe the anointing to bring them down <laughs> because they are always on the take off no <laughs> but even the plane lands baba but let me ask you a question both of you can a plane land without a traffic controller no. giving you the signal no so for the anointing to move you are the traffic controller when you say no the anointing will wait <coughs> and then you blame god god everybody is happening this and that but i did not get sunita had been waiting for a long time till she changed the uh, system and she got a new system downloaded now she is a traffic controller anything from jesus download 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 download
Today is what? Friday? Saturday. Uh. Last Saturday night, I was watching live and actually I was feeling jealous because everybody is playing in spirit and I'm in Bangalore. So Sunday also same thing happened and then I deliberately messaged Susan. Susan, I'm going to Nelly, planning to go to Nelly. Do you want to come? She said, I'll think over. Then I called her or she called me and I told her what had happened. Okay, okay. Now that you said that you are you are jealous. Okay, let's change the... It was not... Uh, no, no, not uh, that jealous. means on the positive side. Okay, let's change. I do want to experience. Yes, and let's change now. You know what we do? We have it tonight as well. But softly. The audio will be softly because I don't want you to wake up father. He's sleeping on the top. If you wake him up, Sunday is gone. <laughs> the music will be soft and we will have a wonderful worship till midnight. Yes. Okay? Yes. I'll talk to father. Yes. He, he has no issues. Even if we go up to one o'clock, he has no issues. But only issues is what has happened in the past. That audio should not go outside. Mm -hmm. And at night, the sound travels easily. So, we'll keep it extremely low and we will enjoy this anointing tonight. Brother, one thing. Brother. Brother Sunil was telling this afternoon, Sister, tomorrow we will have this session. And I told Jesus, why tomorrow? Tonight can't we have Jesus? Please, I said, and you are telling this. Praise God. <laughs> So, Saturday night, Sunday. That's what I'm saying. From next week, Saturday night, Sunday. Next week, I won't be there. Okay? Because I'll be going to Goa. But I will do the DJ for five hours and give it to uh, Jude for the five hours. So, all he has to do is play and everything will be there. Okay? We'll do it. Uh. Okay, I'll talk to father, okay. See, when you are hungry, when you are thirsty, the catering, who is doing catering, he also enjoys serving because you are going on eating. Then you, then you enjoy even more. Are See, when you all are eating, no, you look at Sunil, he comes out and watches everyone. He looks at everybody's face and he comes into the room. After looking outside, he comes inside. And the first thing he says, everybody are happy. He wants to see the joy on your face. So just as the person who cooks enjoys, in the same way the preacher who preaches, he also enjoys when the response is full of heart. Okay. Thank you, Sunita. Thank you, Kiyomi. <laughs>